In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at some basic editing techniques that can be used to create your video introduction. I'm going to be using iMovie for this, but you can use these basic principles in your own editor. As you can see, I have the edited GVs from week zero here in my project. I'll just play these through now. And action! They look good. What we need to do is to add my introduction after them. I've recorded an audio introduction, so I'm going to put some photos in here first. I'll go here to browse my photos and select some. These will be perfect, so I'll drag them up. Here they all are as thumbnails in the project. Now let's have a look at how these photos play through. You can see here that iMovie has automatically added some motion effects to the images, making them zoom in or out. And this adds some more visual interest, so I'll keep this. Next, I need my audio piece to go with these photos. I'll go over here to the music library and find my iTunes library and search for the title of my audio. Here we go. I'm going to drag that up onto the project and position it just at the end of the last GV so there's some overlap. You can see that the audio is represented by the green bar under the thumbnails and let's play it through. Hello, my name's Joe Mills and I'm studying T156. I'm principally studying this course because although I have a video camera, my films tend to be quite boring. Shots of family and friends, nothing particularly exciting. So I'd like to understand more about how to make better films. I'd also like to understand a little bit more about the editing process and how to be creative with editing. And I'd like to understand how I can work with other people to create better films. Great, my audio is playing through while those photos play. I just need to adjust it slightly, clicking on this icon here. And I'm going to raise the volume, as I recorded it a bit too quietly. Hello, my name's Joe Mills and I'm studying T156. Great, now we have that, I want to add some music over my GVs here. I'll browse to my iTunes library again and search for the music this time. And here it is. So I'll drag that up over the GVs. And let's play that. Oh dear, the music carries on while my audio intro is playing and that's no good, the music's drowning it out. What I'll do here is to trim that by going to the end of the music track and dragging it back to where I want it to end, somewhere here. I'm also going to add some manual fades here as I know that I'll need these to soften the cut. Something around two seconds should be fine for both of these. I think I'll also adjust the volume down slightly as it seemed a little bit too loud. Okay, that'll be fine. Let's check that bit again. And action. Hello, my name's Joe Mills and I'm studying T156. Okay, that sounds much better now. The next thing I want to do is add a credit at the end here. And I'll do this by going to the title menu over here and choose a suitable title. When I drag it up, I get some different options for different themes. There are many different sorts here, but I'm just looking for a simple black and white one. Something like that. There we go. Now you can see this title in the preview window on the right. You can click and edit the text in here. 
I'm going to just add a credit for my music, but you must ensure that any necessary credits are done here. Once I've finished my credits, I'll click Done. So let's just see how that looks now. It's OK, but I think I want it a bit longer. I'll click the icon here to adjust the clip adjustments. And I think 7 seconds should be long enough, and you'll be able to see the updated duration here on the left of the thumbnail. Next I want to add some of that music onto my credits. So I'll find the file again. There it is. Let's check that. Better films. Unfortunately, it's added the beginning of the music again, so I need to adjust this. Using the clip trimmer, I'll drag the highlighted section to the end of my music track and just adjust the position to suit me. I think somewhere like that should be okay. And I'll click Done. So let's check that through now. Other people to create better films. It'd be nice to have some overlap here, so I'll drag the music back over here a little. I understand how I can work with other people. The music's drowning the other audio track out now, so I need to adjust my fades on the music track. Somewhere around 5 seconds. I need it slightly longer here. How I can work with other people to create better things. I think I'll just go and adjust the volume as well there. Other people to create better things. That sounds good, but it needs some more fine trimming later. Next, I want to add a title over my GVs. I'll go to the title menu and choose a nice one. Let's go for something a little bit more fancy this time, and I can drag it over my GVs. Notice that the thumbnails go blue when it's correctly over them, and I'll release. I can edit this title in the same way as before. Currently, the title only covers the first GV at the moment, but I can stretch that out to however long that I want. And let's play that through. Action. Hello, my name's Joe Mills and I'm studying T156. I'm principally studying this course because although I have a video camera, my films tend to be quite boring. Shots of family and friends, nothing particularly exciting. So I'd like to understand more about how to make better films. I'd also like to understand a little bit more about the editing process and how to be creative with editing. And I'd like to understand how I can work with other people to create better films. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
I've used some basic editing techniques in a very basic editing package here to create my intro video. Why don't you have a go and see what you can create?